official results of the primary election are in. And for the District 3 congressional race, it looks like Democrat Adam Frisch, who ran uncontested last night, will be facing Republican Jeff Hurd, who the Associated Press has named the GOP winner. Our Kira Nigro spoke with both candidates as they now prepare to square off in November's general election. I've been working really hard for more than 10 months now. Uh, and it was terrific to finish in first place. At about 8.30 on Tuesday night, the Associated Press called the Republican primary election for Congressional District 3, with Jeff Hurd as the winner. Hurd tells me he's grateful to win for his family, friends, and supporters. And they believe in this message. They believe in a better future for our families and for our communities and for our businesses. They bought into that, and it means a lot to me, and we're now energized to move from the primary to the general election. Hurd's campaign will need that energy, working to get out the candidate's message from now through November. The next four months are going to be super busy, uh, and they will go by faster than I think any of us will realize. In terms of his competition, Hurd tells me he thinks being from Mesa County will be a huge advantage. I grew up here in Mesa County. I know the struggle that people have in western Colorado trying to pay for gas, trying to afford food, trying to have good jobs that let them uh, buy a house that they can live in. Hurd's competitor, Democratic nominee Adam Frisch, tells me the race isn't about playing sides. To me, it's not about being on the Democratic side of things or the Republican side of things. It's about being on Team Colorado's 3rd District side of things. Frisch says there's a key difference between his campaign and his opponents. We're not going to be taking corporate PAC money, and this district does not need a corporate lawyer uh, beholden to corporate PAC money. Frisch also tells me the main issues his campaign will focus on. We're going to go back to focusing on securing the border, making sure that we can try to tackle some of those costs the people are still getting sticker shock when they go to the grocery store or they're trying to manage child care. And we're also going to be focused on making sure that the government is not mandating pregnancies. Kieran Nigro, KREX News.